leaving. It's been a really stressful past few minutes in the house and I never did any kind of house tour. So that was the stairs going upstairs. This was our kitchen. It's kind of a mess. And then if you go in here, living room, lovely outside view, we have to go. And then you go up the stairs and you guys have seen that all before. So goodbye house. Hi, you ready to go? Can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye. Bye-bye, house. Okay. I'm gonna leave the kitchen light on. Yeah. And the key to the stuff is fine, and if the chew box don't it up. Oh, it, it'll be fine. Did you give him food? Oh, uh, I need my glasses. And did you give the cats food? Did you give them yeah, food? Yeah. yeah, okay, great. great. Damn it. We're leaving. We're gonna watch Peppa, okay? And we're gonna go to the airport. Yeah. Say bye bye, Emmeline. Oh, wow. That's pretty. Oh, wow. I know, he's just standing there like that. Or she. <laughs> been pretty crazy to get here and to keep everything in order and it's just so difficult to travel alone in lane with the stuff that I have which we're moving so we knew we'd have a lot of stuff but it's a lot yeah so oh gosh and also obviously I'm in the airport um, it was a really difficult morning we only gave ourselves an hour which wasn't enough time so we were late and we hit traffic but surprisingly somehow we got here in good time. Thank you to Alvin's driving and navigation skills. And Emily had a really difficult morning. She was so tired, so she's fallen asleep a little bit earlier than I wanted. But hopefully, she'll still sleep the whole flight. You can hope. Fingers crossed, right? And yeah, I can't believe it. Like my last moments in the house, I didn't want them to end like that. I would have much rather like sat on the couch last night with Alvin and just enjoyed. But we weren't able to do that, unfortunately. Oh well. We'll have a lot of good memories of that house and I will miss it so much. And it's time to, to go and start something new.
mama? Oh my God, guys, I have moved to Norway. So it was really a very long process to get here. I, and my phone died. My phone died on the bus. So I was trying to show you guys the whole journey, like what I had to do to get here, but my phone died, which is crazy because it was at 82%. I don't know. Maybe there's a program running in the background. So I couldn't film that. And then I got here and I don't have a charger for my phone. <laughs> Forgot one. So we had to like look through the entire house to find a charger and we found one. It's 8.30 Norwegian time and that's six hours ahead of Boston in the USA. If you need to figure that out. And Emily's asleep and I'm up in the room and I'm going to work on my vlog and I've got my computer, my crappy old computer turned on. So I really hope it's going to work because I just got caught up with the vlogs, but I wanted to explain to you the journey that it is to get here. So we drove to the airport, which is about an hour from our house, hour and 20 minutes. So we drove to the airport, then we got to the airport. You know, you do the airport thing, you go through security, <laughs> you get in the airport, that, okay, fine. So then we flew here to Norway and then we landed in Oslo airport. And from there, Emmeline and I had to, you know, customs, password control, that sort of thing. From there, <laughs> <laughs> we had to take the train, which was, we were really lucky because I asked the, the attendant, I said, when is the train go? She's like, in six minutes. I'm like, will I make it? She's like, yes. I'm like, are you sure? So I quickly get my ticket and then I'm like, I can't go down the stairs. I have a pram. So I had to take the, the elevator and it was so slow, but I made it onto the train and we took the train into Oslo. And then from Oslo, I walked to, or we're downtown Oslo and I walked to the boat and then I take the boat across with Emmeline and then I took the bus for like 30 minutes. So the boat's like 25 minutes and then the bus is, so the train, let me explain. So the tr an hour and a half to Manchester by car, two hours by plane to Oslo, then 30 minutes by train into Oslo from the airport into Oslo city center. Then you walk for like 15 minutes to the boat. The boat's about 25 minutes and then the bus is 30 but usually over 30 minutes and then you have to walk to Alvin's house maybe 10 minutes tops and that was our journey <laughs> so we got it here and I had a really heavy backpack a really heavy purse plus Emmeline in the Manduka and then pushing the pram and I had so it was so heavy um I didn't have the pram obviously for most of the way and then I had to push all of that in the pram while carrying sleeping Emmeline it was crazy because I had to walk from the bus stop myself <laughs> it's ridiculous but oh my god I have moved I have moved to Norway it's done it's crazy oh gosh it's so hard to think about that but we're here um or at least me and Emily are here and Alvin's packing out the rest of the house and finishing that and then he'll be here on Sunday um gosh it's crazy it's like a whirlwind it really is I don't even know what to think right now I'm so tired and I'm just, I'm so tired. I'm going to try and get this vlog done and go to bed. I'm sorry there's not much footage today, but that's how I cookie crumble sometimes. It's been a really crazy day and you know, I have my phone. So if I had a camera, I think it'd be different. Okay. I am going to bed. So I'm going to say goodbye now, unless something exciting happens. It's probably not. So thanks so much for watching today, guys. I really hope you have a good day and it's crazy. That house that we lived in, I'm never setting foot in again. It's really sad. I can't even think about it. I can't think about it because I will cry. Um, anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow.